Here's how to create this cool looking neon glowing tattoo effect. First, I'm gonna grab my tattoo footage, throw it in a new comp right here. And then in the effects and presets, I'm gonna type in 3D camera. And I wanna drag the 3D camera tracker right on here. And I'm just gonna wait for this to analyze. Now, after it's done analyzing, I'm gonna click the 3D camera tracker. I'm gonna left click here, right click, set ground to plane and origin right click again then I want to create a solid and a camera now I'm gonna click on my solid shift command Y because I want to make this a slightly larger and now if we scrub by we can see it's tracked on the tattoo now what I want to do is I want to get the pen tool turn the eyeball off so I know where I'm drawing and I'm just gonna create a shape over this eye now I'm gonna turn my solid back on and I can see that it's tracked and now I'm gonna go to effects and presets and I'm gonna type in Saber. Now this plugin right here, uh, it's in our description. If you wanna download it, it's free. Now I'm gonna to go to custom core and I wanna select my core type to layers mask right here. Uh, then I wanna click right here and my mode is gonna be add. And this is looking very like too bright. I wanna make the thickness of this a slightly smaller. Maybe my glow spread I'll arrange a little. Now if we zoom out, we can view, it's tracked on the scene, and now we want to animate the lines coming on. So in Saber right here, I'm going to timestamp right here, and I want to hit U on my keyboard to see where the frame is, and I want to move this up, and I want to send the end offset, I want to set it to zero, so it'll animate on. And to make it even smoother, I'm going to right click keyframe assistance and put an easy ease on it, go to the graph editor, I'm just gonna smooth this out like that, mess around with the length of it. And so far we have this. Now to make some more like this, just hit Command D and then hit M on your keyboard and we wanna remove the path because we wanna draw a new one over it. So if we do this in real time, select our pen tool, you can see whatever we create, the path will follow. Now here we have our second line and the animation should automatically be followed it. And that's pretty much it, how to make the design and animate it. Now to get even further with some cooler effects is the preset right here. We can change this to energy or whatever we want to get a more cool looking style. Now the energy one is one of my second favorite styles. It has some cool type of glow on it. And there's how you make a cool neon looking glow effect using Adobe After Effects. And I hope you like this tutorial.